Hi bros, if you'd like to make your big powerful Chinese East Coast Street Leg Older and this tiny remote could help. Plan is crazy simple, we'll use kind of echo turbo button as a speed limiter, because almost in all Chinese East Coast, when you are on eco mode, the max speed is not higher than 25 km per hour and Scoot is really not powerful, so in this case it will do the job. At first we have to learn how this remote is working, just check the size of the receiver, it's so small. In future episodes I will show you where also we can use that kind of thing, it's crazy useful. The price is around $5, all links in the description. Manuals are saying that this receiver got wide voltage input from 3 to 24 volts, so it make it even more useful, and I guess it can handle around 1 amp. On the other side, we've got two wires on the input, minus and plus, and two wires on the output, so looks like this receiver is only passing through the input voltage and current. We can choose one of three modes. First one is momentary mode, so we can set one button to work as a momentary switch. So if I will set on button, and if I will press it and hold it, then the output will be active on the receiver. If I will release this button, then the output will be turned off. Next one is toggle mode, so we can set one button to work as a on-off switch. So let's say that I set on button. If I will click it once, then it will activate output on the receiver. If I will click again on the same button, it will turn off output on the receiver. So this one is quite decent because we can connect two receivers to this one remote because we've got two buttons. And the last one is latchet mode, so we can set one button to turn off the output from the receiver, like maybe in this case on button, and the next button, like off button, we can set to turn off the output from the receiver. So this one could be best choice for this speed limiter mode. I know what you're thinking bros, yes, we can buy remotes with more buttons, in this case I've got four buttons, so I can control four receivers, but still I would stick to four buttons and two receivers, because I can much easier control those receivers. Yes bros, I am connecting on the first try this tiny receiver to my graphene LiPo, let's give me some fun bros, okay? So far no fireworks, do we have something on the output? No. Now we have to set proper mode, I will go with latchet, so we have to click 8 times on this tiny button, 6, 9, 12, ok. Now we have to click 3 times on this tiny button, 1, 2, 3, ok. Now we have to click once on the on button and on the off button. Is it working? Let's turn it on. Check this one out. And let's turn it off. It's working, perfect. As we can see, only one big cable is going from this two set of switches, Echo Turbo Single Dual Drive. We should expect that inside this black cable we'll find four wires. Here we got six wires, so this is not it. Here we got again six wires. And what's happened to this one? I will have to check it later. But here we got four wires, so looks like this one will do the job. But if this is correct wire, there is only one way to find it. We have to unpin one of the connectors and check it if one of the buttons will not work. If it will not work, then we've got good cable wire. So let's unpin this one. At first, let's check single dual drive button. So we have one drive, yep. Do we have dual drive? Yep, so this is not it. Let's now click in Echo Turbo. Powerful. Let's click it out. Yep, this is it. So now we know, bros, that this cable with black and grey wire is for Echo Turbo mode. But before we go further, it could be awesome to understand how it's working. So, black wire is ground, it's minus. Grey wire is 5 volts, so it's plus. But this is just signal wire, so through this 5 volts is going maybe like 10 milliamps, so if you would like to power up something by using this 5 volts, maybe something like this tiny remote receiver, then the voltage will drop quite fast from 5 to 0 volts because there is not enough power, not enough amperage. So now if you are newbie in to all this, then it will be like mindfuck for you, because I will show you how the controller is reading the state, it will be fun. So the controller on this 5 volt signal is using simple analog system, so it can read if we've got open circuit, 
so we've got 5 volts or the circuit is closed and you've got reading 0 volts, so we've got only 2 states. So when the circuit is opened, so we push it out the button, then we've got full throttle, so we've got 5 volts reading, so there is no any speed limit. But when we click in the button, then we're doing something like shorting the, those two cables because we are closing the circuit, but there is not enough amperage, so there is like 10 milliamps, there is no any big short circuit inside, this is just signal. So the voltage is dropping from this 5 volts to 0 volts and we've got echo mode. Yes, I know, if you are newbie then this is like crazy, but this is usually how analog signal is working. Some people will say that this is not analog, but a digital signal, and this is a true. So now you know, bros, more or less, how this controller is reading button state. You know that you can use almost any button, any switch you like, you can hide it where you like, or you can even short this 5 volts signal cable to the ground, and if the controller will notice that the voltage drops from 5 volts to 0 volts, then you are on echo mode where the speed is limited. But be freaking careful, bros. Be sure that you are shorting good signal cable, like I showed you previously, it's super easy to find. Because if you will short anything else, which is at high amperage like this, maybe power input or there are some other smaller high voltage, high current wires, then there will be big short circuit inside this controller, there will be fire and you will be not able to do anything about this. So it's super easy to make this mode, but also it's kind of easy to mess it up. But because the switches are so 90-90, let me show you how to use remote receiver. As usually my plan is crazy simple. As you know bros, in big schools we've got high voltage batteries like in Lauti Ti30 we've got 60 volts and if we will connect the 60 volts straight to this tiny receiver it will melt. Literally that's why we need something to lower this voltage and of course step down converter is the best way to go. Exactly this one is kind of decent, all links in the description because it's high voltage so to the input we can connect even 72 volts on the output we've got standard 12 volts and it can handle even 5 amps. So this one is like high current. Usually in the controllers you will find that kind of cable with two wires, black and red. This one is passing through the voltage from the battery. Use multimeter and measure it if it's the same output voltage like battery got. If it's the same then you found good cable. It's highly possible that it's used by something else. That kind of Y connector could be useful. So from one input, we'll have two outputs. Thanks to it, we can connect something extra to it, like maybe step-down converter. We are connecting now those two cables together and from the controller is going voltage, like in my TI-30, 60 volts, to the converter input and from the output on the converter, we'll have 12 volts. This yellow cable is 12 volts output plus, which we are connecting to red cable on the receiver, which is input plus, and black input minus we are connecting to black output on the receiver, so to the ground. Now be careful because output plus we are connecting to nothing, because for now we are not using 12 volts, but output minus we are connecting to, yes, as you guessed, to the gray cable on the controller, which is signal cable for echo turbo switch. And as you remember, if you will short plus and minus, then the voltage will drop and you will change the mode. Simple car fuse can save you lots of trouble. I do recommend to add one between the converter and controller or battery. If you would like to use the same converter, then 5 amp fuse will do the job. Also, add one between the converter and RC remote. I do recommend to use something like 2 amps, because over here we are not expecting any higher amperage. If there will be some short circuit, then this 2 amp fuse will just pop out. If you still have no idea how it's working, then I will leave some schematic on my website, link in description. Something extra, output plus you can use to power up some kind of LED. So when you will turn on the receiver, controller will switch to echo mode and LED will light up so you will know that you are on super low speed. At the end, no proof, no glory, so I connected everything like I showed you bros. Prop is connected to red wire, which is connected to 5 volts signal wire. That's why we've got 5 volts reading on the screen. So the circuit so far is opened, the wire is not shorted to the ground, that's why we've got the reading, but when I turn on the receiver, 
then the signal will be shorted to the ground. But like mentioned, there is super low amperage. This is just signal wire, so there will be no big bada boom. I already blows. Let's turn on the receiver. Voltage drops to zero volts. Nothing happened so, so far. So good. Let's turn on the receiver. Voltage rises. And let's turn on again. So far, so good. Now, let's hit full throttle. When the voltage in TI-30 is at zero volts for the signal wire, then we should be at echo mode, so limited speed. Let hit, let's hit full throttle. Yeah, the wheels are spinning kind of slow, but when I turn off the receiver, so voltage rises, when I add full throttle... Jesus... You can see the difference. So, let's turn on again, receiver, voltage drops, let's hit full throttle. Yep. So everything seems to be working just fine. If you have those any questions, leave it in comment section. I will back to you and try to help. See you in next one. Yeah, this is kind of easy mode, but you have to be careful. Always use multimeter to measure the wires. And before you will do any connection, you have to check it a couple times if you will not mess it up. Because with that kind of stuff, if you will mess it up once, then you are pretty done at that point because everything is happening in one nanosecond. So yeah, be always freaking careful. And it will work just fine. Of course, shit can happen, but this is a different story.